Hey, so welcome to Sunday, and uh, we're back at the shop with uh, with the cheeseburger. Look, there he is. He still has his beard. I lost mine in an unfortunate beard mowing accident, but uh, the passport photo people said that I had to do it, so oh well. Anyways, game plan for today, because it really sucks outside, it looks nice, but it's fucking cold and really windy, so... Ryan's just going to undo these U-joint straps here and get this uh, dry shaft off of this axle. And then we're going to slide the axle over kind of back there somewhere. Open the door up, grab the skid steer, lift the Jeep up, and uh, get this old bastard in place. Slam the bolts in it, tighten them up, and then uh, and then we're going to call it a day just because we're lazy today and uh, it, it sucks outside. It's cold, so that's all there is to it. Uh, and uh, it'll be good times. So we're gonna smoke cigarettes, drink Tim Hortons coffees, and then we'll get to work. Okay, so we had the Bobcat out, and we're all done with it now. And uh, I'll show you what we did with it, look. Oh, it has an axle again in the rear. Oh, nice. Now we just gotta get some uh, new of them uh, shock absorbing uh, cylinders there, and uh, slam that together, throw some brake lines on her. Very good. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. We're all bolted in. All, everything's tight and good to go. We've got to throw a drive shaft in her. And uh, then we're laughing. Right, cheeseburger? Yeah. Oh, we're going to have to jack her up so we can get these jack stands out of there because we don't need them there no more. Cool. Very cool. Very cool indeed. What else did we do today? Nothing really. That was the worst part, so I think we're going to call her a day now and go drink some beer. Drink some beer and smoke cigarettes. Right. Yeah! Okay guys, so I'm home now and uh, made a little stop at a wonderful little store called Excess Cargo. Cheap as shit appliances and TVs and electronics and all sorts of things, cookware and everything, all that you really need. But uh, some of the stuff's pretty shitty quality, but some of the stuff's pretty good. So, I had to pick something up. As you know, I'm going to be living in my trailer as per the trailer plans. Um, an actual date has not been uh, figured out 100% yet, but uh, it's going to be sooner than later. So let me show you what I picked up from XX Cargo. Where my trailer is going, electricity is free, but unfortunately propane heat is expensive. So picked up a nice oil filled uh, radiator heater. So, I don't know, 1500 watts, I think it should do. <laughs> right on. So, I'm going to unbox it and plug it in and check it out. Down in there. Ah, uh, yes. Well, that looks like easy assembly. Just some wing nuts. That's like a lot of the haters, eh? Bunch of wing nuts. A couple of feet and a couple of casters. Cool. Let's throw it together. Alrighty. We're assembled. Want to hear a cool noise? Oh, I don't know. Hopefully, I can do this with one hand. <laughs> I don't want to break it, it's brand new. It was only $40 though, it's a pretty good deal. That's all the oil coming back down. Now the reason why I chose the uh, oil is that these are a lot safer than uh, you know, typical space heaters that have a heated element and a fan. If something like this falls over, it, it will still shut off, but it doesn't get hot enough to actually set anything on fire. Um, so that's why I went with this. It's just a overall better design. Unfortunately, there is no fan to kind of help spread the heat, but uh, I think the radiator design is pretty good. Um, I mean, this is what they used 
many many years ago before there was a such thing as forced air heating um, they weren't uh, oil filled and electric of course they were just water but uh, I don't know I'm gonna plug it in now and I'll uh, time to see how long it takes to get warm and how well it actually works I have noted the temperature in this room already so we'll see what happens okay wow I've actually had it plugged in for only about probably 50 seconds to a minute now and the base is already hot to the point you can just barely touch it excellent and I can actually already feel the oil starting to radiate upward Oh, well, let's see okay it's been about exactly two minutes it's quite hot down here can't even touch it anymore and yet the fins are hot to the point where you can't touch them not quite at the very very top yet but yeah it's already I'd say that's probably already around 90 90 degrees at the top and it's probably oh geez I don't even know what to say it would be at the bottom wicked fucking hot <laughs> Oh, it's got that that new radiator smell. Cool. I can already feel the heat coming off of it, and it's not even at uh, full temperature yet. That's how far it is. So I got it cranked on to max, and we'll just see how how good it goes here. There's three settings on it. I guess low, medium, high. So I got it on high. Um, high power, high heat. So I'm maxed out with uh, 1500 watts now, and I just want to see. Oh, yeah, it's getting really, really hot. So I think this is going to work out pretty fine. Um, inside temperature, right in this exact location already, is 21 degrees. Um, so I'm going to let this uh, stay on for probably half an hour to an hour, and I'll uh, check it again. 21 degrees is the max that it gets in here with the uh, forced air heating in this house. Okay, so uh, I'm just uh, watching, uh, catching up on the blokes video. And I got this idea here, because this is just a radiator heater, you know? It just lets heat kind of radiate up and then nothing to really move it around. I think a fan would do a better job. So the whole reason why I got the oil-filled radiator heater was for the whole safety aspect of it. I feel a lot more comfortable leaving one of these unattended than you would with a hot element heater. So here's what I came up with. I have my little uh, my old super fan back there. And it's just kinda blowing a bit of air around. And it's actually working quite nicely. Temperatures on the rise for sure. Now this is so hot you you can kinda touch the top of it. But the bottom of it you can't touch, it's too hot. So that was my idea anyways. You can put it right up close to it I think, something like that. The heat coming off of there now is just fantastic. So I don't know if I would run this with a fan or not um, in the trailer. Probably wouldn't need it. That would just suck more energy, we don't need to waste. So I think this will do just fine. I'm going to turn the fan off because I just wanted to try that as an idea. Right there it goes, and uh, I'm just gonna leave it on the way it is right now. Just uh, doing its radiation, radiation, radiating sort of thing. It's quite warm, and it's only been on about five minutes or so now, and still 21. But uh, I, I think it'll go up. I'll let you know. Okay, so it's now been about 20 minutes since I've turned the uh, new oil radiator on. There it is. The fan's not on. Just sitting the way it is. And here we go. 22 degrees now. So it rose 1 degree. Now I'm not really far away from the thermometer, but uh, it's working. I can already feel it. I normally have a little bit of a chill sitting on my couch here because the windows suck in this place and they let a breeze through. I mean, these windows here are probably as old as a house, and the house is almost 100 years old, I think. 
about 80 maybe, 80 years old I think, something like that. So uh, yeah, this is working all right. So it was $39 at, I think that's Basil, it was $39 at uh, Access Cargo and uh, you know, providing it uh, keeps on chugging along, I'd recommend one. Cool. Well anyways, I think that's probably the end of uh, this video update. Um, I've seemed to be really only having time to do one of these a week, so um, hopefully you like the uh, Jeep progress. Sorry we didn't get a chance to really film much of it because uh, two people installing a rear axle in a truck body with nothing but a bobcat. <laughs> it's a little difficult and uh, I don't have a tripod or anything anymore, so um, there'll be more to come on that yet. Probably more of the mechanical stuff when we uh, finally get to it, which should probably be starting next Sunday. So in the uh, in the meantime guys, have a good week and uh, cheers and beers. Take her easy. Oh look, we went up another degree. We're at 23 now. Well, like I said, cheers and beers.